What is up and welcome back to Viral Ed where we create the best educational content on the planet. Don't forget to share our videos on social media whether that be Facebook or YouTube and most importantly don't forget to like, subscribe and turn that notification bell on. Today we are back looking at fractions, more importantly the steps involved in adding and subtracting mixed fractions. If you don't know what a mixed fraction is, well it's a whole number and a fraction combined into one mixed number. In the previous video, we discussed how to add and subtract proper fractions by using three easy steps. One, making sure the fractions were alike. Two, we added the numerators together, but not the denominators. And three, we simplified the fraction if possible. When looking at a mixed fraction, we need to add a step before making the fractions alike. We need to change the mixed fraction into an improper fraction, which means the number in the numerator spot is higher than the denominator. Let's quickly have a look at how we can change a mixed fraction into an improper fraction. For example, we have two and three over four. To change this mixed fraction, we need to multiply the whole number, two, by the denominator, which is four, and add the numerator, which is three. This leaves us with 11 over four. Let's quickly look at one more example. So if we have three and two over five, we multiply the whole number three by the denominator, which is five, and add the numerator, which is two. And this leaves us with 17 over five. Let's quickly do a refresher of the four steps to solving a mixed fraction. So one, we convert a mixed fraction into an improper fraction. Two, we make sure the fractions are alike. Three, we add the numerators together, but not the denominators. And four, we simplify the fraction if possible. Now that we have an understanding of the terminology and how to convert a mixed fraction into an improper fraction, we can look at some examples. If we have two and two over five plus one over five, we need to change the mixed fraction into an improper fraction first. Two multiplied by the denominator five and add the numerator two, uh, leaves us with 12 over five. The fractions are alike as the denominators are the same. So we add the numerators together, but not the denominators. So 12 plus one, and this leaves us with 13 over five. We are able to simplify this back into a mixed fraction. And to do this, we divide the numerator by the denominator. So 13 divided by five is two with three left over. Therefore, the final answer is two and three over five. If we look at another example with two mixed fractions, we have four and six over 10 plus two and three over five. We need to change both mixed fractions into improper fractions. We will look at the first fraction first, so four and six over 10. We multiply the whole number by the denominator and we add the numerator, which leaves us with 46 over 10. We do the same with the second fraction. So the whole number two, multiplied by the denominator five, and then we add the numerator, which is three, and this leaves us with 13 over five. So we now have 46 over 10 plus 13 over five. The fractions aren't alike, so we need to find the lowest common denominator. In this case, it is 10, as both denominators can go into 10. To get 13 over five to over 10, we need to multiply the denominator by two, and whatever we do to the denominator, we must do to the numerator. So this equals 26 over 10. Now the two improper fractions are alike. We are able to add the numerators together. This equals 72 over 10. We are able to simplify this improper fraction into a mixed fraction. So we divide the numerator by the denominator, which is seven with two left over. This means our final answer is seven and two over 10. Next, we are going to look at subtracting mixed fractions. Like before, the steps involved are exactly the same. However, instead of adding the numerators, we just simply subtract them. Let's look at some examples straight away. So we have two and four over five, take two over five. We need to change the mixed fraction into an improper fraction. So two multiplied by the denominator five and add the numerator four leaves us with 14 over five. The fractions are alike as the denominators are the same. So we are able to subtract the numerators, but not the denominators. So 14 take two leaves us with 12 over five. 
we are able to simplify this back into a mixed fraction. And to do this, we divide the numerator by the denominator. So 12 divided by five is two with two left over. So therefore the final answer is two and two over five. If we look at a more complex problem, like we did with adding fractions, we have three and three over six, take two and four over 24. We need to change both mixed fractions into improper fractions. So we'll look at the first fraction, which is three and three over six first. We multiply the whole number by the denominator and we add the numerator, which leaves us with 21 over six. We do the same with the second fraction, the whole number two, multiplied by the denominator 24, and then we add the numerator, which is four. This leaves us with 52 over 24. So we now have 21 over six, take 52 over 24. The fractions aren't alike, so we need to find the lowest common denominator. In this case, it is 24, as both denominators go into 24. To get 21 over six to over 24, we need to multiply the denominator by four. Whatever we do to the denominator, we must do to the numerator. This equals 84 over 24. Now the two improper fractions are alike, we subtract the numerators and this equals 32 over 24. We are able to simplify this improper fraction into a mixed fraction. We divide the numerators by the denominator, which is one uh, with eight left over. This means our final answer is one and eight over 24. I hope that this video helped further increase your understanding of fractions and most importantly, how to add and subtract them. As always, I haven't been able to explain every little detail in this video without making the video longer than 10 minutes. So if you have any questions, put a comment in the comment section or continue to research other videos and techniques. Uh, that is all for this video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget, if you like the video, to subscribe to the channel, hit that like button and uh, check out any other videos on this channel. Other than that, have an awesome day and I will see you next video.